Hi, my name is Michael. Welcome to the Knowledge Hub at Universal Skills Group. In this video, we're going to show you how to do the testing on a meter exchange. Okay, so today we're going to go through the testing procedures. Um, we're going to use the acronym of Pepsi. Other soft drinks are available. So we've got the plug-in tester, the Tech 100, the VT7, the Drummond's test lamps, and the proving unit. We also need to make sure that we're wearing our face visor and using our rubber gloves when we're going into the cutout. Okay, so as we talked about Pepsi, we're using P for the plug-in tester. Let's make sure that we've got the three lights to make sure that the polarity is correct before we start the work on the job. So now we go on to the E for extraneous metalwork test. There is a proving button on the unit, but don't rely on that. Always make sure that you test it in a proving unit and making sure that the light does light up. Also be aware when you are using this test instrument, you hold it towards the back um, if you think of that as a thumbprint, because if you hold it towards this end, it doesn't always light up when you would expect it to. So now I would use the VT7 across all the screws to make sure that none of the screws uh, light up. Okay, so we've done all the extraneous metal work. Again, prove your device is still working after you've used it. So it's prove, use, prove, and then we can move on to the next stage of the testing. So the next stage for the P of Pepsi is your polarity. So with your Tech 100, prove it, and now it's ready for using. Go across your tails, make sure that you're getting a live at the live point, neutral, neutral, and again, live coming out of the meter. So we've proven that we've got the polarity correct into and out of the meter. Reprove, and then we finish that part of the polarity test. We need now move on to the proving the polarity into the cutout. We're going to prove the polarity into the cutout. So we need to, at this stage, make sure that we're wearing our um, PPE so we need to make sure that we've got the face visor again make sure that your face visor is clean that it's not scratched and damaged and that you can see out of it and you also need to make sure you've got your, your rubber gloves again make sure you test them fill with air and make sure that each of the gloves are fit for purpose. So you remove your fuse, hold on to the base. Remove. Dependent on the cutouts, you need to remove the face. Again, with your VT7, prove it, use it, and prove it. You've now proven the polarity in the cutout. Okay, so the next stage is to check that you've got a supply. So you want to make sure you've got the live, neutral and earth. So this is where you use your Drummond's test lamps. Now I'm checking the supply. So I need to make sure that my test lamps are um, fit for purpose. Make sure that everything's tight. That the ends are locate. And again, use your proving unit. So it's proof. Then you would start by using prong on the earth, across your neutral, and then across to your live. And then again, from your neutral, across to your live, 
and then across from earth to neutral. That's now proven that I've got a supply, I've got a live and neutral and a live. So I've got a live and neutral and a live and earth. At this point I can put in my shroud and I can now move on to the next test. We've now checked for polarity with the plug-in tester, we've checked for the extraneous metal work, we've checked for the polarity at the meter and inside the cutout, we checked the supply, so now we're wanting the eye of Pepsi which is isolation, so we're making sure that everything is dead that we're going to be working on. Okay, so make sure we prove the test lamps. We now use the reference point on the earth, cross the meter and check in that we're not getting any light. Again, we go across the neutral and again check across all the terminals, making sure again there's no light. On some contracts they also want you to go across each of the terminals on the meter. And then when you're finished, make sure again you prove that they're still working. So that completes the isolation or proving not live test. Okay, so I've now done all the testing. I've proven everything's not live. I've got the shroud into the cutout. I can now remove all my safety equipment of visor and rubber gloves. And hopefully I'll not sound like a Dalek either. So that's going through all the test procedures, hoping to um, make it easy for you to remember by using Pepsi, P for your plug-in polarity test, E for your extraneous metalwork, P for your polarity at the meter and inside the cutout, S is the supply, so you're checking live, neutral and earth, and then I isolated or making sure that everything is dead. So, if you've got any comments, please pop in the box below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm Michael. Thanks for watching this Knowledge Hub. Hope to see you soon.